This week we're going to be taking a look at some of the newest LEPs on the market along with a few classics to give you a better point of reference and we'll be looking at their beam shots and comparing some of their basic features. So if you're looking to get yourself an LEP, this video will show you a few different options and hopefully make the decision process a little easier. The lights we're going to be looking at are the Thor 1 Gyro and the Thor Pro from Lumentop, the new Ammo Torch BT35 and the BT60, the Mate Minko FW3, and finally the Next Torch L10 Max. And as always you can find links to Pick these lights up down in the description and timestamps down below in case you're in a rush and you want to jump to a breakdown on a particular light. We're going to kick this video off with a relatively new release from Lumentop who definitely have the widest lineup of LEPs in the market and this is the Thor 1 Gyro and this is a good option for those of you looking for a high-end pocket carry friendly option. The Gyro shares a lot in common with the Thor 1 but the most notable upgrade is the incredibly nice titanium body with turbo glow inlays which look fantastic and it also has a gyroscopic head which is a really neat feature. Two different outputs plus a strobe are controlled by a backlit tail switch and it runs on an 18350 battery and there's also a glow bezel ring. The Thor 1 gyro has a max output of 400 lumens, a peak intensity of, of 360,000 candela and a max throw distance of 1200 meters. The hotspot is relatively wide for an LEP but it's still very capable of illuminating the power lines which are at about 445 meters away. It will run at this output for about 5 minutes before stepping down to the low 40 lumen mode where it will run for another 50 minutes. And overall, if you want something very compact that's still able to keep up with the larger LEPs, this is going to be a great option to consider. Next up, we've got the Ambutorch BT35, which is more of an entry level tactical LEP and much more budget friendly coming in at around $120. This is about as large as you want to go for an EDC LEP and it has an aluminum alloy body with a hard anodized finish and it's powered by an 18650 battery. A tail switch turns the light on and off and lets you cycle through two different output modes and it also comes with a tactical ring. The BT35 has a 370 lumen output and a max throw distance of 1371 meters which is about 0.85 miles and the output and the beam pattern is quite similar to the Thor 1 gyro however you are going to get much longer run times with this LEP due to the 18650 battery. The price point is also pretty good on the BT35 coming in right around $120 and prices are starting to improve in this category so if you're looking to get yourself your first LEP this would definitely be one of the best options on the market. This is the Mate Minko FW3 and this is a hybrid style LEP which is a floodlight LEP combo and perfect for those of you who want to carry a light that's very versatile for both close and long range applications. There's a single white laser emitter, and if you look closely, you'll see there's a ring of smaller auxiliary emitters, and these are 9 Cree XBDs, which can also be used independently or simultaneously, and this version is black, but at the moment you can also pick it up in green. This light is powered by a single 21700 cell, and the different modes are controlled by a backlit tail switch, and the UI is much more advanced compared to traditional LAPs. The laser has a max throw distance of 1350 meters or 0.84 miles and a peak intensity of 460,000 candela and the performance is again pretty similar to the lights that we looked at previously but to the naked eye the intensity does seem to be slightly weaker than stated but it's still pretty powerful but the color of the beam is slightly more neutral in appearance and has less of a blue tint compared to the other LEPs in the lineup. Now we've got the auxiliary emitters turned on, which have a max output of 1550 lumens and a cool white 6500K color temperature. And you've got the best of both worlds with this light that can throw and also be usable for walking around. You can also just turn on the auxiliary emitters and now you've got yourself a really nice flood style beam. Overall, I'm really impressed with the size of this light considering it does run on a single 2100 cell. So you're gonna get some exceptional run times with this light. So if you expect to use your LEP quite often and want something with good battery life that's still relatively EDC friendly, this is a great option. The Next Torch L10 Max also runs on a 21700 battery. It has a really simple design. This light comes with onboard USB-C charging and a silicone side switch with three different primary outputs plus a strobe. And this is a mirror style design. And this would be a good option for those of you who need excellent run times from your LEP. The L10 also has a 400 lumen output and a 360,000 candela high intensity beam with a max throw distance of 1200 meters. And although the stated specs are in line with most of the other LEPs here, the hotspot does appear to be slightly more intense, so I would have to say that this is the longer thrower of the bunch with the exception of the BT-60, which is in a totally different league which we'll be taking a look at next. Next Torch has a handful of LEPs and I would definitely consider this to be a good option if you want a nice intense LEP with good run times and a compact form factor. 
Now we're going to step up in range with the Ammo Torch BT-60, and this light was released right around the same time as the BT-35, but the BT-60 has a much larger head, but the design of the tube and the switch are quite similar, and the tail switch will also turn the light on and off, and give you access to high and low mode. The BT-60 also runs on a 21700 battery, so you are going to get better run times compared to the BT-35, but it is significantly less pocket carry friendly. The BT-60 has a max output of 400 lumens, a peak intensity of 1,640,000 candela, and a max throw distance of 2,560 meters, which is nearly 1.6 miles. And the intensity that this light delivers outperforms all the other lights in the lineup hands down. And out of the dozen or so LEPs that I've tested, is definitely one of the most impressive. The trail of the beam is piercing and distinct and the true performance is very difficult for me to capture on camera. Overall the hotspot on this light is the tightest so it's not going to give you too much visibility over wide areas, but it is going to give you the most illumination of the target that it's pointed towards. If you want your LEP to be able to push the limits of throw distance to the max that's possible in the LEP space, this light definitely comes close and for its size, it's definitely one of the best available options on the market. The last light in the lineup is significantly larger and more powerful than the other lights here, and this is the Thor Pro, which is another hybrid style LEP, which has a ring of 8 LEDs, which are going to give you that flood style beam, and also a white laser emitter in the center. This light runs on four 18650 batteries with USB-C charging, and it also has a power bank functionality so it can be used to charge your other devices. A backlit side switch gives you access to the most advanced UI in the lineup, and there's numerous modes for the LED, different outputs for the LEP, and also a nice variety of combined modes. The laser has a max output of 300 lumens and a throw distance of 1300 meters with 426,200 candela. And overall the hotspot is relatively faint compared to many of the other LEPs, but it does still do a reasonably good job at throwing very long distances. Now we've got the auxiliary LED emitters turned on with the LEP, which have a max output of 12,100 lumens, and together they produce a tremendous combo of flood and throw. And if you are looking for this capability, this is going to be one of the best options on the market. With just the LEDs on, you've got a really nice high powered flood beam, which is very impressive. And if you want to be able to see long distances and illuminate closer areas in the foreground to help with spotting things and also make it much more suitable for walking. And you also want to be able to sustain high outputs for long periods of time. This is going to be the best option. At the moment, there aren't too many lights on the market that can do this, but another light that that has similar flood and spot capabilities is the new Thor 4 and currently one of these is en route to me and I'll share some beep shots when it becomes available. It would be great to hear your thoughts on which one of these lights is your favorite down in the comments below and if you have any interest in picking up these lights and supporting the channel there's links down in the description which will really help me out a lot. I compared some other LEPs last year in another video and if you want to check that out there's a link down in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel.